Right after his baptism, Jesus went into the wilderness and fasted for 40 days. Note that in Luke chapter 4, it says that Christ was led by the Spirit into the wilderness. Christ is following the Spirit and he's about to be tempted. Sometimes, even when we're doing our best to stay on the right path, temptation will come. The devil came to Christ and said, If thou be the Son of God, command this stone that it be made bread. A few verses later, the devil tempted, If thou be the Son of God, cast thyself down from the pinnacle of the temple. Remember that at Christ's baptism, God directly said to Jesus, You are my Son. We could consider this a revelation of sorts, even if Jesus already knew it on some level. And then the very next thing that happens is Satan comes to attack that message, if you are the Son of God. Have you ever felt an impression from the Holy Ghost, and then as you're trying to move forward in that direction, you've been tempted to doubt the revelation you received? This can happen in all sorts of areas. Maybe you felt inspired to serve a mission, and then temptation comes. Or you feel inspired to get married, and obstacles begin to arrive. Perhaps we see in the temptations of Christ an example of something like that occurring in the Savior's life. This is an important topic because sometimes as we're seeking revelation, the Lord gives us a stupor of thought, which is the way of saying, pull back. On the other hand, sometimes the devil tries to plant fear in our hearts, getting us to pull back when instead God wants us to move forward. Learning to discern the difference between a stupor of thought and fear from the devil is important. In a powerful talk called Cast Not Away Your Confidence, Elder Jeffrey R. Holland taught, I wish to encourage every one of you today regarding opposition that so often comes after enlightened decisions have been made, after moments of revelation and conviction have given us a peace and an assurance that we thought we'd never lose. Yes, there are cautions and considerations to make, but once there has been genuine illumination, beware the temptation to retreat from a good thing. If it was right when you prayed about it and trusted it and lived for it, it's right now. Don't give up when the pressure mounts. Certainly don't give in to that being who is bent on the destruction of your happiness. Face your doubts. Master your fears. Cast not away, therefore, your confidence. Stay the course and see the beauty of life unfold for you. I remember an experience from my life when I was dating a young lady and we were about to take a road trip together. I had felt inspired to ask her to join me on the trip and had been impressed that it would be an important event. But on the morning of our trip, I felt this immense fear. The devil was tempting me to pull back from what I had felt was right. I got a blessing from my roommate, took courage, and went forward with the trip. As a spoiler, it led to Lonnie and I getting married. One lesson we can learn from Christ's dealing with temptation is cast not away your confidence. The devil will sometimes tempt you about promptings you've received. Don't give in to his temptation. To see more videos like this one, simply search Seeking Jesus. Thank you.